welcome back to Astonishing Studios. Today we feature several LEGO magic tricks and how to build them. First of all, a huge shout out to RK Studios. He is a YouTuber who launched a LEGO Ideas project for magic tricks and is willingly letting us feature several of them in this video. The least we can do to give thanks is support his project which is in the description. Also, a huge shout out to Evanera TV. He's a magic YouTuber who inspired this video concept and style. Overall, make sure to support both YouTubers after watching this video. I first saw this trick in a Kinder Egg, so I decided to build it out of Lego because it is just that good. So to the average spectator, this looks like a normal drawer. You open it, there's nothing inside. Put something small inside, maybe a ring or a Lego monkey in my case. Close it, wipe your hand around it, abracadabra alakazam, snap, pull out, it's gone. So now they think you lost their item, abracadabra alakazam, snap, it's back. This one's super simple and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. We can remove the top for further detail, but most of the information is actually seen at the bottom. Now the audience doesn't see this, there's actually a hole at the bottom. And let me explain to you what happens by taking out these two drawers. Yes, two. There's actually two. So when we pull this out, the smooth pieces keeps everything together. So when you pull this out, it comes with the second drawer, like so. We put our monkey in, then we close the drawer. And when we close the drawer, let's actually dump out the monkey for a second. When you look here, this one by four piece, if I hold it, I'm actually holding the second drawer, but not the first. So just keep in mind, my fingers on this, people don't see that though, because it's just such a small move. My fingers on the second drawer, and they're pulling this out. So this is what they're seeing when it disappeared. So the monkey is actually in this inside drawer, and they're just seeing the outside drawer when it's disappeared. See? Okay, so let's just slide this back in. And when the magician or whoever is holding it pushes this back in, it slides back with the first drawer. So when you pull this out, you're getting two drawers in one, which is actually the monkey in the small drawer, and then the outside drawer is just holding the central drawer. Come on. To perform the brick through cup trick, all you need is a two by two brick and a small Lego pick a brick cup. So you can also use quarters and glasses, but this is Lego friendly. Put the Lego brick in the palm of your hand and tell the audience that you are going to make this brick go through to the bottom of the cup. One, two, three. And just like that, the brick has gone through to the bottom of the cup. So it's time to reveal the secret. As I said at the beginning, you put the brick in the palm of your hand and you hold the cup with the other. You tell them you're going to make the brick go through the cup by pressing once, nothing's changed. Pressing twice, nothing's changed. And when you pull back the third time, you're going to let the brick slide to your fingertips. And then when you come up the third time, it's going to be so fast that they shouldn't notice that the brick has moved. So when you come up for that third try, you're actually launching it from your fingertips touching this side of your hand, using it as a backboard to fall into the cup. Now I'm gonna be honest, when I perform this trick slowly for people to see it, usually the brick doesn't go through the cup. I was kind of fortunate to have it go through that time. So let's perform it a second time and hope that everything goes well. And if not, I guess you'll understand how it works. So one, two, pull back for the third try and three. And just like that, God was on my side and the brick went through the cup. This trick may not be the definition of mind boggling, but anyone can pull it off because it's just that simple. There's no sleight of hand. So start by taking off the lid and you will see a blue brick is inside. Now the magician will take this brick, put it in his pocket and then put the lid back on. Say abracadabra, alakazam, snap your fingers, remove the lid. And just like that, the blue brick has reappeared. So the trick is not done yet. If we actually put the lid back on, say abracadabra, alakazam, snap our fingers, Remove the lid, the brick is back in our pocket, hence its disappearance from the box. And what do you know? We can put this back in, and then your friends will be amazed. If you're among those who still don't know how I did it, this is actually a three-tiered box. You have the top, you have a fake brick layer, it's actually just a four by four plate topped with a blue two by two tile, and then you have the actual brick layer. So this is pretty much the magic element when you have everything stacked on. This is two layers here. This is the bottom layer here. You remove this, take out the brick, put it in your pocket, and then you put this back on. And this time, instead of taking off the two top tiers, you're just going to take off the top. So we have this layer still on. And you say, oh wow, it's back here. We're going to put the lid back on, then take off the two top tiers again to reveal where the blue brick should go.
in my opinion, this is the coolest trick I'm going to reveal. So you have three cards, put them down in front of your spectator. Purple, blue, red. You may change the color if you would like. Get one specific volunteer from your crowd. I have one right by me, say hello. Hello. And I'm going to have this volunteer take this Lego magic wand and point to the card that for some reason compels her the most. Purple, all right. Now what if I told you that I had already predicted this card before she even chose it. Now flip over the cards. This isn't something rigged where they just always choose purple every time. In this case, I actually did choose it correctly. This has a 100% success rate, and I'm going to show you the very easy secret behind the trick. The main downfall with this trick is that you cannot reveal this trick to the same person twice, otherwise they will immediately figure it out, unless they're a little bit clueless. I'll be honest, I have some people like that in my life. The secret behind it is that there's a different revelation for each prediction. You're probably thinking, okay, what, what does that mean? So, you have them choose with the wand which one they want. If they choose purple, you tell them to flip over the cards, and you see good choice, wow, amazing. If they choose blue, you're going to tell them to open up the panel of the wand, and inside, it's going to say their prediction, blue. That's a pretty cool one. And if they choose red, you're actually going to palm this piece. You can actually just maybe take even a red piece of paper or something and palm it in your hand the whole time. They're probably not gonna be suspecting anything's in your hand anyways because the magic should be all on the table. And once they choose red, you're going to say, interesting, I thought you were gonna choose that one. In fact, I even kept it in my hand the whole time and then get ready for the reactions. Oh my goodness, how did he do that? But as I said, three different revelations. Perhaps I've been rambling too much, so I will show you this trick in silence and then describe how it's done. We can give away the secret by just shaking these cups and we hear that there's something inside. If you guessed correctly, you guessed that there's a fourth Lego brick. So let me show you how this is done from the beginning. We have three cups, three bricks on the top. We pour them out, lay them out neatly. Then we take the bottom cup and flip it upside down so the audience can't see. This one actually had nothing in it. The middle one has one brick in it and when we pour it over, we're going to do it quickly so they don't hear, but I'm going to do it extra quickly so it's really loud. That was pretty obvious. Now let's put this over. So we already have a brick down here, but the audience doesn't know that. We put one brick on top, we put two cups on top, tap it to seem magical, and then we reveal that the brick has moved through when in reality, it's still there. Now we put this cup down, this cup with the brick down, quickly so they don't notice, this cup down, put on the brick, put two cups on, tap it, looks like it went through, but in reality, that's still there. Put the cups down, put the cup down, put this down, put the brick on top, abracadabra. Looks like three went through, but in reality, the brick is still there. And then you can just go through this trick over and over again endlessly and just puzzle your spectator. Show the audience that you have an axle in one hand and nothing in the other. Snap, the axle disappears, snap and it comes back, snap and it disappears, snap and it comes back. That's a tongue twister. Anyways, it's very simple. I'm going to show you how this is done. The secret is simple. You're actually just going to apply tape to the axle so it sticks to your finger. Therefore, when you snap and lift up your finger, it disappears, snap, and it comes back. Obviously, do it quickly. That was a fail. The adhesive on the tape is coming off because I've worn this for like over 10 minutes now. When you actually have your finger like this, they'll be able to see it. And then just perform it. Start practicing, of course. And just like that, you'll look like the next Houdini. Watch me make these Lego wheels disappear. They actually fall into this little ledge. For some reason, people don't really think about the pulley wheels actually falling into here, but it's actually very easy. We just have this little stair that they stay on. They stay up high. Let me actually do it like this. So they sit here. And when I move my hand in front of it, I'm actually pushing them out subtly to fall into that little gap. And I do that for each three of the pulleys. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at astonishingstudios at gmail.com or let me know in the comments what your favorite magic trick was. Personally, I'm stuck between the cupboard and these three cards, but I'm sure yours might be a little bit different. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you with the future video.